You won't want to do this, but it truly makes bodyweight wizards. From the light body legends of Wu-Tang, to the power baddocks protégés of the polar regions. There is one single element of training that's absolutely hated by kids, teens, men, women for thousands of years. And I can almost guarantee you that you too will hate this training method, though it yields the strength of smelted iron sculptures. Failing to understand it, skipping through it, or bouncing from video to video will lead to continued failure in fitness and health. So stay focused, fellow Pacrimian. This is not TikTok. And I'll show you exactly what it is, how it relates to your mental and physical training. And at the end of the video, several examples you can take away with you and implement today. Lee Weiland, Pacific Rim Athletics, creator of Powerbatics, and welcome to training. Grounded, unwavering strength and sustainability should be the goal of each human with a body not yet in the ground, starting as young as possible and continuing into your golden years. Maybe that's you, awesome, continue on your quest. But many say they can't, they're too old, too fat, their arms are too short like a T-Rex. But many say they can and then do it. Like surfer Bethany Hamilton who overcame a shark attack or Veni Nemechek, the real Wolverine. If you don't know his story, you should watch some of his videos on our channels and website. By the way, subscribe, but also use the link to opt in because if Google or social media ever goes away, which may in fact be for the betterment of mankind, it'll be nearly impossible to stay connected with our community and videos hidden in the mountains of Alaska. So make sure to dive into our universe. And what I'm gonna show you has been used for millennia. So powerful in fact that warriors from Shaolin to Mon Mongolia use this methodology, but it requires something brutal, a mentality that goes hand in hand with the training method I'll show you in a minute. And it will solidify your personal avatar of strength, flexibility, stamina, and special skills. But here's where most go wrong. At best, they want sets and reps and exact workout plans and timelines and freebies. At worst, well, maybe not the worst, but this is pretty bad. They'll jump from video to video, comment to comment, celebrity to celebrity, making demands or complaining. Parents and adults, 40, 50, 60 plus, y'all know what I'm talking about. YouTube is filled like fidget spinners on eBay with how to get abs, arms, and an apple bottom. Anyone can do it. Here's exactly how in 15 seconds or less. Nutrition, whole, real, and if possible, organic food. Water, supplement for deficiencies. Muscle, three to five sets, five to 10 reps, three to five days per week, two to three body parts per day. Lower the reps for maximal strength and increase the reps in full body for endurance. Compound movements for mass and or power, depending on the number of reps. Flexibility, static, passive stretch, for one to five minute holds, then add dynamics when you're advanced. For skills, do sets of 10 up to 100 of drills, building the skills, always ending on a high note. I know that's probably more than 15 seconds, but sadly it won't change the 90 plus percent failure rate for online education as Seth Godin has shown in his research. Because it all boils down to this one training method. But these failures actually stem from Unitarian philosophy. And yes, everyone has a philosophy slash theology, and the better you get it, the better off you'll be in all areas, including your physical training. And I'm coining this term here first, an athletosophy that's stronger than iron. You see, Unitarianism denies the eternal coexistence of unity and plurality. In other words, it disregards human individuality and coalesces everything into singular forms, like mass institutions, certain forms of government, and cookie cutter video courses. It's like putting bacon, eggs, toast, coffee, and orange juice all into the blender and calling it breakfast. Like many political regimes do, and like the or institutions that Unitarianism is famous for, the public poorhouse, the mental institution, prisons, and the public school. And like social media is now emulating, which in turn shapes people's personalities into lowest common denominator, cookie cutter forms of mainstream mediocrity, even down to how they speak, think, and yes, even work out. This leads to wanting what others have, the desire for immediate results without years of practice, and other shortcuts without coaching or community. Use this training method instead. Here's half of it, the mental half. Patience. Do the boring stuff, the hard stuff, without the pre-workout, blaring death metal, stimulants, demands, complaints, or instant gratification. And don't worry, we'll get to the moves. Let's part the waves like the Red Sea, knowing the chaos all around, but standing immovable in the middle, between the walls of raging water and the calmness. 
And don't think I'm over exaggerating here. This is what training actually feels like. If you've ever grappled, fought, competed in a race, recovered from injury or sickness, you'll know what I mean. Let your mind and body become firmly grounded like the granite strength of a gargoyle perched atop its gothic spire. You see, anyone can be distracted. I mean, study a bunch of videos, do a wad, throw around some iron, or you can become the iron. Physically, yes, but more important, mentally. Then you will, as Jackie Chan said, not let circumstances control you. You change your circumstances. From the hand balancer's routine to the breakdancer's freeze. From the powerlifter's squat to the monk's unshaken balance on poles. From the mountaintop to solitude in the wilderness. Exercising patience. The strength moves will come. Patience for eight week cycles of muscular development. Patience for 20 week cycles of flexibility development. Otherwise you hit roadblock after roadblock. So slow down, stop being a Unitarian with your training and use this unmoving, concentrated, static training instead, which is the method I'm gonna show you. Powerbatic static training. Some have called this brutal. Handstand positions from basic to intermediate, then to advanced. For 10, 30, 60 second holds. Stances, horse, snake, crane, lunge, stick for 60, 120, even 360 seconds. You know, when we train like this at our facility, every time a person drops or touches the floor, they actually amass another something special for everybody at the end. Take the wall handstand, for example. Ankles together, arms on your ears, nose on the wall. Five minutes and no come downs. Every time you come down, it adds another bridge push up for everybody. And do you dare try this on your own at home? Will you find where your true breaking point is and push beyond it? You can do it on your own, no doubt in my mind. There might be in yours though, once you hit 29, 39, 49 seconds, but you can push through. And not only this, but all challenges in life. Do you see why I save the moves for the last? You absolutely need to listen to the first part of these messages to even be able to get into the headspace to do this. It's what we teach our coaches and even most advanced students. And then this builds level by level into mastery, dyna combos, full katas of strength, flexibility, and skill. We only provide free content to inspire you. We don't even turn ads on, but if you'd like to take your training to higher levels, you can talk with me and my team in the next day or so. And you really will go much further than watching videos and using DIY courses by working with a sensei, teacher, or coach. You'll save 10 years of trial, error, and frustration since you're getting the combined decades of experience and thousands of data points from an entire team. Or do self-study for 10 to 20 years. That's okay too. Either way, we have more videos coming up on the screen that'll help you and I'll see you in the next video or hopefully in training soon.